Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden from Real Life Trading Australia. I trust you are doing tremendously transcendent today after such an amazing bullish day in the markets. Uh, you could have played absolutely anything, almost any, almost anything bullish today and um, pretty much made money. Uh, let's take a look at the SPY. Beautiful, beautiful gap and go from yesterday, um, gapping above the highs of these two bearish candles gapping right to the 200 small retest. If we take a look at the five minute, we had the small little retest broke above the new highs, created new highs and retested the pre-market pre-market pre -market highs and then just took off. So if you guys got to catch that on the SPY, which a lot of us real life traders did, then well done. Here's the cues. Uh, another glorious gap and go. Um, gapping up and trading straight into the 200. Now, most likely, I do expect the Qs to, to probably trade sideways here, come down a little bit and then go higher. Um, but we'll basically just wait and see on this one. Now, these these most of these stocks have gapped up on the news from the Fed saying that they might be having a rate cut which interest, interestingly enough is also going to push your gold stocks higher as well. So I'll quickly have a look at gold before I dive into some US stocks. So here's gold. Here's where the news came out and gold just absolutely pushing higher. So um, from here, uh, I'd keep your eyes on this 1343 level, but honestly guys, we could, we could go higher. If, if we do have a rate cut, expect there to be a breakout on gold. So if you are holding some, if you are holding some gold shares, keep holding. It's probably a really, really, really good opportunity at the moment. Um, so there, there's gold moving higher, looking amazing. Here's MU. Beautiful, beautiful gap and go from yesterday, forming this nice little double bottom pattern. And yeah, so I do this big bullish candle. I do expect there to be some sort of retracement before we do go higher. But we came straight down to this 33, you know, roughly the 33 support level right here. So most likely, I do expect MU to move higher. Here's Square. Now, Square looking absolutely glorious. As you can see, we are forming this nice little double bottom pattern. And if I just put on the RSI, for those of you who do trade with indicators, we are getting some nice bullish divergence. As you can see, as you can see here, we're getting some nice higher highs and some lower highs here. So I do expect there to be a nice little reversal um, happening on SQ. Probably not going to go straight to the moon. Uh, we still are, we still do have this downtrending line here. So most likely, I'm going to be getting into a position on a dip buying opportunity and getting out just up here. So, you know, entry around here with a stop down here would look amazing. So keep your eyes on square to move higher. Here's Netflix. Netflix gap and go bounce straight off the 200. I mean, it's never done that ever before, you know? So um, from here guys, I'm still bullish to neutral on this, on, on Netflix and most, most of the tech sector, to be honest. So um, yeah, keep your eyes on Netflix for a dip buying opportunity or just stay long. I wouldn't be overly bearish right now, especially with the conditions of the market. Um, Here's Apple. Now, Apple, we spoke about last week saying that there's right now is probably the best time to start accumulating shares. And we did get a beautiful, beautiful gap fill on these last two days last week. Finally filling this gap that we had right here back in March. And that was expected. So if you just take a look here on, I'll just draw some Fibonacci lines here. I mean, no one could have ever guessed that this was going to come down to the 618 and bounce. I mean, that was just absolutely flawless, right? So 
if you're in long on Apple, stay bullish, looking great on the weekly chart, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chart, looking like it's about to bounce. So stay long on Apple. Here's Amazon. Amazon not doing a whole lot right now. Uh, Amazon, yeah, basically just chilling between below the 200 and the 100 simple moving average. I mean, down here on the RSI is showing that, you know, it's a buy low, sell high location. I'm going to turn this off because I don't actually use this. But if you do use the RSI, definitely Amazon looks like a great buying opportunity. Um, the last time it was down there was when Amazon was back here in December. So definitely keep your eyes. I wouldn't be going short here. That's for sure. All right. So keep your eyes on a move higher. Uh, take a quick look at uh, crude oil. Um, now doing some really pretty things right now. This beautiful, beautiful pennant that we are kind of creating right now. So from here, I still think that we could go a little bit lower. However, if this does break out, if this does break out of this pennant, I'm happy to take this thing bullish, especially because we've had a very, very nice pullback. We've, we've pulled back 20%. So, you know, buy low, sell high. That's our motto at Real Life Trading. Um, we definitely want to <laughs> buy the dip. We don't want to be buying the highs. Um, okay, so here's so oil looking looking really really good for a long, very very shortly. To keep your eyes on crude oil and oil stocks. Actually, let's take a look at BP while we're at it. So BP having a nice nice pullback, along with the oil sector. And uh, yeah, I mean, now is a really nice buy low, sell high location. We are sitting at the 100 simple moving average on the weekly chart. So, I mean, from here, guys, I'd probably just look to stay, stay long, stay long. If you're in shares, you know, keep, keep staying long, look to sell some covered calls if you, if you want to create some income. But other than that, BP looking really, really nice. Here's the All Lords on the daily. Now I'm just going to turn on the short term moving averages. Now we spoke about this last week here saying that most likely we're going to come back down to the 50 and then look to bounce. And uh, we have done that. Don't know how strong it is right now because we did trade up to these moving averages today and then reject them. So we'll have to see how we trade over the next couple of days. Most likely we're going to have something like this happen um, along with the overall markets. But from here, I'm now possibly going to be looking into getting into some longer term positions on the All Lords if we stay bullish. Is CBA just looking absolutely amazing? still going bullish, just keep on going higher. Um, if you're not in long, I wouldn't be getting in long right now. I'd just be waiting, waiting for a dip by opportunity. It is going to come guys. You're not going to miss out. So um, well done for all those of you who got in bullish right here on CBA. Well done. Here's APT. Uh, I missed my entry on <laughs> God, this, this kills me. Uh, I, missed, I missed my entry right here on this day. I was supposed to buy some shares um, and we're up 7% as of yesterday. So um, from here, I'm not going to chase it. I am still going to be looking for a buy the dip opportunity. So if we can come back down to these lows, I will definitely be looking to purchase some after pay. But after pay, buy the dip, looking, looking juicy. Here's the A2 milk company. Now, finally pulling back some. Um, gapping down after their earnings right here. So, I mean, from here, it was, it was a bearish gap, um, but we did gap right down to, to this support level. So, if we're going to bounce here, um, I'll be keeping my eyes on it. It is a little bit bearish 
Um, so just keep your eyes on, I, you basically want to be buying as low as possible. So if I am getting in here, I do want to look at buying at this location here. So I am looking for something like this to, to occur pretty much like what happened here. Um, so I'll be keeping my eyes on the A2 milk company for a dip buying opportunity. And here's a 5G network. Now the 5G network, um, just super, super bullish. Obviously with everything that's going on, phones upgrading and uh, 5G coming soon, this is gonna probably start to go bananas. So if we look on the weekly chart, um, I probably wouldn't be looking at buying this until we got down to about this level. If I just could do a quick Fibonacci check here to the highs, yeah. So this would be my this would be my first dip buying opportunity here. I'd probably start to leg in and buy some shares, and then pretty much I'll just pyramid into this. So I would buy some shares here, buy a little bit more here, and then start to get in a little bit heavier here. So if you are looking at getting in, that's one way that you could look to play it bullish. But right now, I don't want to be buying at these highs right now on 5G network. Uh, last one I want to look at is Kogan. Now, Kogan just doing exact following the lines of Mr. Squiggles here, which we drew last week. Uh, I'll just take a look on the, so on the weekly chart, on the long-term moving averages, we're at the 100, like we said. If you take a look on the daily, uh, the daily is coming down now. Funnily enough, this dip that I was drawing is coming right into these moving averages. So I do expect this to, a cap, to occur. Um, so definitely keep your eyes on Kogan for a long down here. Um, but other than that, everything's looking pretty bullish out there, guys. Um, all the news about gold starting to go higher. Uh, you know, the Fed rates might be being cut. This, this could turn into a start of a bullish bounce. So keep your eyes peeled on some bullish opportunities right now. Um, but yeah, everything is looking good out there. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this real life stock review and I'll be back on Thursday with another free real life stock review until then love life, live life and trade it. I'll see you.